Hey everybody, and today we're going to go through another Java coding exercise called wall area. First thing we're going to do is start off with reading the problem to kind of get an understanding of what we need to do. Then we're going to switch over to IntelliJ, which is our IDE where we are going to program and test. And then once we get it to work over there, we're going to come back to this Unimi tester where it's going to test all possible possibilities um, in terms of the height and width of a wall. And we'll see if we got the ultimate answer. So let's get started. Write a class with the name wall. The class needs two fields, instances with the name width and height of type double. The class needs to have two constructors. The first constructor does not have any parameters, no args constructor. The second constructor has parameters width and height of type double and it needs to initialize the fields in case the width is less than zero it needs to set the field value to zero in the case the height parameter is less than zero it needs to set the height field value to zero and then they are telling us the following instant methods so we have five methods we have a get width a get height a set width a set height and get area then they have some example test code down here at the bottom that will be running and then output a little notes here at the bottom all methods must be defined as public not public static in total you have five methods and two constructors do not add a main method to the solution okay so let's get started here as you can see here this is our main method i'm going to fill this in as we go to test out what we create. So let's just kind of go down the list. So first things first is we need to create two instant variables called height and width of type double. So let's do that first real quick. If you guys are wondering why we are using the public accessor private, it's because we are in a class and we only want the class to be able to access these variables, not the main method. Okay, so we have the variables. So now it says we need two constructors. We need a default constructor and we need a two args constructor. For you guys that don't know, the default constructor, it's basically used for default values, maybe some test cases, or um, you may want to use a print line in here to make sure the class is, that you're actually calling the class, so I'll put one of those in here right now and take it out later. It's just going to say hello, wall class. So that's any questions about the constructors, please leave it in the comments below. But here we are going to talk about the second constructor, which is going to take in the two parameters of height and width. So it's going to be the same as the other constructor. The only difference is it's going to have the parameters of height and width, and it's going to assign them based on what we're given to the variables within the class. Now, if, as we saw here, for the second constructor, we have a little more to do. We have to take into account if the height and width is less than zero or not. So in order to do that, we're going to have to use some conditional statements in this class. So first things first, easiest thing, we know we're going to use if else statements. So I'll just set that up real quick. Again, if you guys see any other ways to do these, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. All right, so we know if it's gonna be if else. I know that the number one way, right, that we know it's gonna be correct is if both of them are greater than zero. So in a perfect world, that's what I'm gonna put first. Okay, so again, this else statement from lines 19 to 22 is saying in a perfect world, the height and the width are both positive so we're just going to set them equal 
So the first one I'm going to do is if the width is less than zero and the height is greater than zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this dot width is equal to zero dot zero again because they're doubles. And then the height is going to just equal the height. And then we're going to do that for another possible case, right? Because we have to take into account if width is greater than zero, but height is less than zero. So it would just be width greater than zero, and height is less than zero. And then we're just going to switch the options around in terms of what it's going to equal. So this dot width is going to equal width, and this dot height is going to equal zero. You don't necessarily have to put the dots because in any situation zero zero, but just to make it look better. Okay, and then the last possible possibility, right, is if both the width and the height are negative. So if width is less than zero and height is less than zero, then we're gonna set both of them equal to zero. Okay, now we have both of the constructors done. And I'm gonna take this little bit of time here to just test the constructor start making, making the main class so you guys can see a little bit of what's going on here. Okay, so, and we know in the main method, since we're calling classes, we have to call the actual class. So we'll call wall equals new wall. And we can just call the empty constructor. It, it'll just um, show the print statement I was talking about. So let's run that real quick. Okay, and it just says hello world class. So then now if we put in the parameters, let's say 5, 4, and then we start, well, that's all we can really do for now. But this one is going to call our second parameter. So I will now, we will create the method for getting the area so that we can actually see the area print out. So print line. I'm just copying this directly from the Udemy side kit area. Now this is going to show an error just because we haven't created it in the wall class yet. We're going to do that right now. So public. And again, these are public because in order for them to be accessed by the main method, they have to be public. And if we scroll back up, if we forget how to make how they want the get area to set up, it's right there. The get area method. Without any parameters. And all we're gonna do is return the value of area. And the way I'm gonna do that is do get width and get height. But I also have to make those methods as well real quick before we test it out and IntelliJ is nice and they will do it for us so these get methods are already created at least the okay so again we know we're just gonna return the height get height and get Okay, so now let's test what's in the main method now. See so the error was corrected. So if this works correctly, we know it will be 4 times 5 and the area will be 20. Alright, we know that works. We also know it worked because they're both positive. So in terms of the constructor, we ran this one here. And the only thing left to do for our five methods is doing the sets. So we're going to do set 
height and get height real quick. And we see the IntelliJ declared both of these as private. I'm gonna leave them like that for now because technically we don't need the main method to call these. We only want them to call setters or uh, get area, but actually I changed my mind. We're gonna change all these to public. In this method, or in this example, I'm not gonna use them in the main method, but it's good to have them public just in case you wanna call them. So now we're gonna do the setters. Setters are void, if you guys don't know that. And here we're gonna have to do the same thing as we did in the constructor, is to basically verify if the values are greater than or less than zero. Which we've already done in the constructor, so it's not gonna take that long. So if width is less than zero, we're gonna set width to zero. And that's all you need in order to take into account those. We're gonna do the same thing Height, we're just going to copy and paste it, save us a little bit of time, just a little bit. Even then I know I'm doing it the slow way. Okay, so now that's all done, let's finish typing in the main method. Well, as you guys know, we don't really have to type it in. But I'm going to do it real quick because it's not that many lines. So now what we're going to do is they're calling the set height, which is going to change the height to a negative number. And then we are just going to system print out the height and the width and the new area. And see in this example we do have to call get height and get width in order to display the information so it's better in this case to declare your instant methods as public and leave your variables as private. Alright let's see if this works. As you guys know you guys gotta leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. This works first go, then we gotta do it against the Udemy tester. Yes. As you can see, we got it right on the first go. This is the same um, output as the tester did. If we wanna switch it up, we can comment out this line and have both of them be negative, which would run in the constructor, would run this option here which we should get an answer of zero for both forms of area. So let's run it real quick, and then we run it against the Udemy tester. Then we close this program out. All right, and we see here all zeros all across the board, so that's right. So now let's copy and paste it into the Udemy tester. See how we really did. If you guys got this far, I want to appreciate and thank you guys for watching and tuning in. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys stick around for the next one. Fingers crossed, guys. And we got it on the first try. Yay! So again, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And continue to code and just have a great day, night, afternoon. Whatever time of day it is for you guys. Go with you guys next time. Bye.